as you can see the the, the focus very much, and I hope that's come through in the discussions that we've had today, is really very much about the whole teacher, rather than just the professional skills, the professional capital. Important though that is, they're financial terms, aren't they, largely? Professional currency and capital. Measurable. Something that you can be held account for. And I understand that that's important, but I think the secret of the Pathway Programme is that it's looking at the deeper things that keep us motivated and flourishing in the job and ultimately delivering those important outcomes for the children, sometimes beyond the, uh, the measurable data, if you like. Uh, it's an online CPD program, entirely online, so you can do it at your own time, in your own pace, um, supporting both professional and personal development of teachers and leaders from qualification right through to retirement. That's why it's called Pathway. Um, it's, the, the, it's unique, I suppose, in that respect. It's the first online program I've come across that enables you to build your own learning journal right the way through your career through critical reflection, monitoring your motivation, assessing your skills and so forth. Um, and as I, as I think I've emphasized enough here now, it's very much focused on both the personal development and the professional development. And when you combine these two, I think that's when you really are able to give to teachers and help them to maintain that all important empowerment and that sense of agency often misinterpreted and misquoted as autonomy. It's not just about autonomy and wanting to be able to do what you want. It's actually agency, which I think for me is knowing that the efforts you're going to are having an impact on the students that you're teaching. I've never met a teacher in my life who's been afraid of hard work, but I've met plenty of teachers who feel demotivated if they don't see the impact of their hard work on the students that they teach. And that's about self-reflection, I think, isn't it? And self-efficacy. And you can't always get that from your traditional CPD course where you're being uh, given some more professional skills and capital. I think it's actually about reflecting on what you do have already. And uh, rather than a deficit in your practice, it's perhaps more about feeling empowered because you've taken the time to reflect and recognize the impact that you're having. Well, we start with orientating you. And what I mean by that is, giving you a sense of direction in terms of what motivates you and what demotivates you in your current role. And that's the motivation plan and the guide to motivation that uh, Mark and I were talking about just earlier. We provide you with a series of skills so you can audit um, skills audits. You can audit your professional skills, get a sense of your strengths and your areas for development, and then map out your career ambitions using our career mapping tools. And we navigate your way to success with a huge number of different online courses, all within the Pathway program. So the Pathway fee, the annual subscription enables you to access all of the multiple different professional courses that we offer. And then we give you the opportunity to reflect. It's all about reflection for me, that critical reflection, reflective practice using the wellbeing program and the advice hub. Well, when you put those three elements together, I think that creates that virtuous cycle of constant empowerment. I've always called it CPE rather than CPD, which is continuous professional empowerment, because if it doesn't empower you, what's the point in doing it? And I think that's what, uh, hopefully that's what this program will give everyone. This is just a very brief walk through the orientation part of uh, that first piece, um, guide to motivation from Mark, the skills audits, and there's a teacher's skills audit and a leadership skills audit as well, where you can go through a whole series of different skills and honestly rent, rate, uh, rate yourself, I suppose, rank your different skills and rate uh, the level of skill that you have currently and identifying those areas for development, which will then help you to choose the right online course for you within the next section. And the career mapping tools, well, I think that's probably quite unusual to be, actually have the opportunity to write down your the professional roles and responsibilities that you would like to secure in the years ahead. But that isn't the only thing that motivates us to get out of bed, is it? It's also all those extracurricular activities, those wider interests and projects that we bring to school, how we bring all that additional value to school. Well, what are those aspirations in the years ahead? What else do you want to do? If you're coaching a team, do you want to host a, an inter-schools football competition? Do you want to take them on tour? What are your ambitions for the other motivations and interests that you have, in addition to wanting to secure a promotion? And then finally, within the career map, we encourage you to write down your health and well-being goals. How are you going to develop your health and your well-being in the years ahead? And when you put all of those things together, I think that's, um, I think that's a very empowering proposition, which I hope will enable you to flourish and stay in this career, um, perhaps longer than you might have done. Um, the navigation section, as I've alluded to, is a series of the most brilliant online courses with some really experienced practitioners 
who are still very much in education, either teaching or leading or lecturing or consulting or training, um, all teachers uh, and very gifted and dedicated ones too. And you know, they're not masterclasses telling you how to do it based on that assumption again, that there is a deficit in your professional currency that can be plugged uh, by attending this course. That may or may not be true, but it doesn't always help your empowerment and your self-efficacy and your agency and your self-confidence that you've got this. So what these are, they're roundtable discussions where we share some amusing stories and anecdotes about the different lessons that we've learned and the mistakes that we've made in our careers. And that's very empowering to hear that and very reassuring. And then obviously lots of wisdom, which I've always used the word wisdom, which is what I shall do on Monday. You know, some practical tips and strategies that are going to help you in the classroom. These are the current crop of courses that we have, and we'll be making new courses again soon. Uh, this is an annual, an annual program, so we're always making new courses for next year. Um, these are the ones that we have at the moment, generic courses. So rather than having a course on how to teach Key Stage 2 maths, that might follow eventually. We are much more interested in those bigger generic pieces. Um, about uh, about the craft of teaching and the craft of teaching requires all of you doesn't it heart and mind body and soul so it's only right and proper that all of you is supported rather than just your professional skills so for each of these courses we take a, a different approach we use I mean it's discovery education at the end of the day so we use films and they're these filmed round tables with expert practitioners filmed in various different locations um, and in uh, various different studios with some real practicing teachers joining us in the round table, sharing their ideas and thoughts on the particular given theme and concept and skill, a series of different discussions. And each of those films is accompanied by some other activities where you read an introduction, you watch the film and you read the academic thought leadership piece rooted in academic reference and, and case studies and classroom practice with some recommended reading as well. And then you answer the coaching questions for reflection every time, all the way through each of the courses multiple different questions which you can't get wrong because they're encouraging you to write down what you think but it isn't just what you think isn't it that matters or what you know it's what you can do with what you know and that I think is inextricably linked to how you feel so these coaching questions are really drilling into how you feel about these concepts and what positive steps are you going to take to make things even better so I think they're very liberating and very empowering questions and then finally the reflection section which is led by Professor Tim O'Brien and his writing partner and colleague, Dr. Dennis Guiney, who have spent many, many years specializing in well-being and human development and psychology within the field of education. Um, now lectures at uh, UCL IOE and uh, uh, University in Limerick um, and uh, very accomplished uh, authors and real experts in uh, well-being and critical reflection. And it actually includes, that course includes uh, uh, a small research based uh, uh, research project based in your school where you can look into monitoring your own well-being and critical reflection and the well-being of others. So a really liberating and empowering course, a brand new course written for us with lots of coaching questions for reflection all the way through. How does it feel? What's changed now? How is it different? How can you, can you make it better and so forth? So really interesting, intriguing course. And then finally, perhaps the jewel in the crown, which is the Advice Hub, which is authored by um, Guy, Guy Dudley, the head of advice at the NHT with a whole suite of different uh, categories, um, which each contain multiple different PDF documents. I mean, hundreds, literally hundreds of documents constantly being refreshed and updated every week uh, where you can get the very latest uh, advice on the different uh, statutory requirements and guidelines and policy changes. And we know in this country there are many policy changes frequently. So stay ahead and uh, stay on top. Uh, these are just some shots from some of the roundtable discussions that we've been lucky enough to film. And they're, they're very inclusive. And I think there's a tremendous sense during the course, every course, that you are there as part of the discussion. And through the questions for reflection, I think you're encouraged to contribute to how you feel and what you think and the steps you can take to improve your practice even more. And most importantly, to stay empowered. Um, authored and presented, presented by authentic leaders and teachers, as I've said, uh, sharing their expertise and their stories um, delivered online deliberately so so that you can keep coming back to each course and 
each of those, I mean, there's 20, 20 odd more than that courses in Pathway, each course requiring uh, several hours to complete, perhaps a couple of evenings and a weekend, uh, just Sunday morning or something, something like that. Um, and the main thing is you can keep coming back to them. They're bookmarked and you can keep coming. And they don't close. They don't disappear like a lot of online courses once you've completed them. You can keep just reopen it and go back and change your answers as your own career uh, progresses and your experience grows. Um, promoting self-investment and critical reflection and well-being throughout this program, which I think is what makes it so very unique.